you have access to hundreds, no, thousands of audiobooks for free. And all you have to do is download an app and you're good to go. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's an easy workflow. It's free, completely free. And I have listened to hundreds of audiobooks in many, many different categories. And I love it. So you have a few that they are providing and I've tried a few. My favorite is Libby by Overdrive. It's rating and review 4.8 out of 5, editor's choice, so you download it any way you want. I'm going to show it to you on the iPhone because I personally like to listen to audiobooks when I'm walking my dog, when I'm walking at the beach, when I'm driving my car. And the first thing you need to do is you go to your app store, you search for Libby, so you have Libby by Overdrive. Mine says open, you will have to download it and from then on you will have to connect, enter your library card number and you will be asked to type your password. Your password is the four last digits of your phone number. So once you know that, everything else is peachy. Okay, so now we are in the app and it shows you a lot of choices, award-winning nominees, new audiobooks, that arrive, etc., etc. So if you don't know what you're looking for, you can just keep scrolling down and pick wherever uh, you find any interest. And I'm sure after five minutes, you will find something of interest. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of different categories that you can pick from. So let's pretend we're looking for a very specific title. You press on search and let's say you want Edgar Allan Poe. So you see, if you go down, you already see the names that are recognized. So here we are. Here is all the work from Edgar Allan Poe. So let's say I found what I'm looking for. I press borrow and I can just start listening to this audiobook right now. It's downloading on my phone so that when I go out in the car or walk my dog and I want to listen to it, I don't have to have an internet connection, Wi-Fi. I can just listen to it directly from my phone. However, I have only 14 days to listen to it. So after 14 days, it disappears from my library and it will also be removed from my iPhone drive. You can ask for notifications, disable them on the device. You'll have to play around with everything. Okay, so here if you see there is library and there is shelf. Shelf is everything I have available. And now I have the best of Edgar Allan Poe. And so we're going to start with this one. The Telltale Heart. True. Nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I had been. So you can put the timer if you're going to bed and you want the audiobook to end automatically. You can put a bookmark and I use that uh, for several reasons. If I listen to something that is really like a super quote or something really exciting or a really big part of the book that I want to go back to, I create a, a bookmark. You can now synchronize your other devices. For example, I had my iPhone and I downloaded it on my iPad and instead of having to go back and find my library card number and all that, it just recognized that my iPhone was uh, right next to it and it asked me to go back to Libby on my iPhone, get the number that appears in the corner and I was able to do that. It synced everything, recognized me and signed me up on that app. It then saves your password and you're good to go. You can access it from anywhere. I am so grateful to the Broward Library for providing this service. I have used them for years. I think they bring an incredible service to the community. Uh, and it's not just audiobooks. You can go pick up books. You can bring your kids to use the computer, to do video games, to, do, uh, to learn a new language. Two thumbs up to the Broward Library. An audiobook has different elements that make it good. And so uh, it has to, of course, have a really good storyline and be interesting to you, but it also has to be read well. And so I have listened to really good books that are just tremendous in audio because the voiceover is 
just not pleasant and it's very monotonous and um, just doesn't catch your attention. In fact, after five minutes of listening, my mind is elsewhere looking at anything else but. And there are some other audiobooks that may not have interested you in a regular book that are phenomenal because the writer captures your attention. And I have actually stopped at stop signs pretending they were red lights because I was so excited about the story I'm listening to that I don't want to move. I'm going to show you five of my favorite audiobooks of all times. This pretty much concludes how I am able to listen to, enjoy and appreciate many, many, many books out there, audiobooks, thanks to the Broward County Library. I hope that you will take advantage of this opportunity, particularly now that we're all stuck at home for COVID and that you're staying safe and being healthy. I will see you soon. If you enjoy the video tutorials, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and press like. I hope you'll come again. I will put more videos out there for you.